Father, this morning, rebuke the devil on our behalf. We know you can do that. And we thank you in advance for what you will do. And God's people shout a big amen. amen. Come on, if you love him this morning, shout a loud amen. amen. If you love him this morning, shout a better amen. amen. Give somebody a high five and tell them today is your day. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of God. I'm seeing how I can push this message as much as I can this morning as God gives me grace. This morning I'm speaking on this subject, one new man. Amen. I'm speaking on the subject, one new man. One new man. I'm going to read some few scriptures as I go. Please open up your spirit. For Amen. We're dealing with breaking family causes and releasing spiritual blessings. That's what we're dealing with. We've been dealing with things last week. And we will continue this week if God gives us grace. We will continue next week. Because problems that are not solved remain problems. Come on now. Problems that end solved remains problems. The book of Exodus. Exodus 20 from verse 1 to 6. Exodus 20, from verse 1 to 6. And God spoke all this word, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, and out of the house of bondage. Thou shall have, this is where he started, thou shall have no other gods, before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any muti or any likeness for anything that is in heaven above, all that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. My goodness. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and the fourth generation of them that hate me. Verse 6. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love and keep my commandment. All of a sudden from where we're reading this morning, please just take your time and listen to me attentively. I'm going to be saying some very deep things. And I pray that the Spirit of the Lord will reveal them to you. The children of Israel were in a dilemma. Hear this. The children of Israel were in a dilemma. They had an issue with God. They had an issue with God. The issue they had with God is that for 400 years, for 400 years that they've lived under bondage, their mind has been tuned to know and see their God. Follow me. To know and see their God. So for them to know a God, for them to serve a God, they must see that God. And for 400 years, that is all they have known. All of a sudden, one morning, Moses goes to the mountain and they are 
They believe they are free from bondage. Hear the word? They believe they are free from bondage. They are free from rules and regulation. They are free from the things that kept them bound. Then Moses gets up and says, I am the Lord thy God. No problem with that. Then he changed everything and said, Thou shalt not have any grieving image. After 400 years, follow me. After 400 years, all they have known is the God of the sun, the God of the moon, the God of the sky. Everywhere they went, the people of Egypt defined their God by what their God or what they think or whom they think helped them. So if they believe that it is snake that helped them, they say snake is our God. If they believe that it's a cattle that helped them, they say the cattle is our God. If they believe that it's a man that helped them, they say this is our God. All of a sudden Moses shows up. Hear you the voice of God. Okay, we want to hear. We don't just want to hear, we want to see. Because we have been used to for 400 years to see a God. Follow me somebody. I have always seen a God 400 years later. You tell me uh, I should not look for my God. We have been under apartheid for years in the 30s, in the 40s, and in the 50s, and in the 60s, and in the 70s. They have shown us our ancestors. They have shown us bones. That when we throw bones, our ancestors, so man is used to seeing something. Follow me. That is the biggest problem the black community is having. The biggest problem the black community is having is that they want to identify with a God. So the devil says, your ancestors, when he says your ancestors, all of a sudden he knows that you have a remembrance or a reflection. Therefore, you put your ancestors and you give him a face or you give him a body. The ones that they say is that they say no. When we throw this bone, their ancestor will speak. Why? Because you need to be motivated by what you see. Follow me? By what you see. So he gets up and says, I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt have no other gods beside me. That's no problem in us not having any other God beside you. But who are you? So that we can identify you. That when we call on you, we have something to identify you with. I'm going to preach somebody happy very soon. So he comes back and says, no, not that way. For you shall have no image. Okay. Okay. I shall have no image. Then how do I connect? Mahale Bosutaya. How do I connect to this God when you cannot show me something? Because I must put my faith on something to prove that you are a God. He says, no. This God we are talking about does not deal. He says, he's not in the water. He's not in the sky. He's not in he's the moon. So the people are saying, whom will we follow? How do we know this God? He said, this God that you are about to follow does not deal 
with the outward appearance. You don't see him. You don't have a form. You don't have anything to associate with him. But he made you. And he made you in his image. If he made you in his image, he has a way of reaching you. He will reach you through your spirit. Now there is a conflict. Even there's a conflict in South Africa. Do we follow the God we see? Or do we follow the God we believe? My goodness. Do we follow the God of our ancestors that we see? Or do we follow the God that we don't see? Now in the New Testament, he defines it this way. He said, we are not moved by sight. But we are moved by faith. Therefore, he that must please this God, aha, he that comes to God, Hebrews says, must believe that he is. And he is not just, he's, he's a reward of them that diligently believe in him. Now, it's a dilemma we are facing. That till today, the church is moved by sight. And not by faith. We are moved by the things we see. Not by the things we believe. Because believing does not do with seeing. Hear this. So he says, thou shall not have another God beside me. There are two things that pains God most in this world. Then I begin to preach. There are two things that pains God more than any other thing in the world. Number one is to compare him to any God. God will punish you. God by himself will curse you. If you compare another God to him. So he firstly, the first commandment he gave to them, thou don't even try it. Don't even try it. Now therefore, the reason why people are walking in curses the first reason, while there is a generational cause, the first reason why people are going through the suffering they are suffering is because their fathers connect them to a God. Therefore, because your fathers connect you to a, a God, there is a natural cause. Hey, I hope somebody will understand. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because he's already said, thou shall not. He says, if you do have another God, I will punish you to the fourth generation. We're talking about breaking curses here. I will punish you to the fourth generation. I will take the, the, the curse of the father and pass it to the children. From the children, now, a generation is 70 years. Times four. So if your father serves another God, a curse remains in a family for 70, 70, 70, 70. How many? 280. Now, the problem with it is if the curse is not on you, please, the curse. The cause, if this person goes, this person takes over, it starts afresh. 
He moves from the fourth, he, he went from this fourth generation to this fourth generation. If he begins, this one is there. The fourth generation starts from you again. If your child takes it now, the fourth generation starts from him. You don't hear what I'm saying? Now, this is without even allowing somebody to curse you. Without even somebody saying your family or your children will suffer. No. Without even somebody opening his mouth to pronounce a curse. Am I talking to somebody? It goes from generation. I told you there are two things that God will fight for. Firstly, if you have another God beside him. Number two. The next thing God will fight for is anyone that touches any of his sons. Hey. Hey. Uh, you should be clapping there. I know you're cold. Anyone that touches anyone that is connected to him. Uh, I don't know about you, hey, but just God just blessed me with a baby. You don't hear what I'm saying. I said, God just blessed me with a baby. Woe betide that person that wants to touch that girl that God gives to me. You will see the wrath of God inside of me. Yeah, am I talking to somebody here? He says, you are the apple of my eyes. Therefore, if there is a man or if there is a woman or if there is a boy, a girl somewhere that lifts up his voice to put, to put a curse on you, he begins to experience the wrath of God. Ah, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Am I talking to somebody here? I don't care. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm preaching ahead of me now. Mahalebro Sudabra. Two things that God gets serious with. One, you compare any person to him, he kills you. He does to you what oh, nobody, I'm telling you, even heaven can, who will help you? When your fight with, with, is with God, two things. You challenge his authority or you compare another God to him. He comes after you. Or you touch someone. Ay, ay, I feel like jumping the message. Uh, that someone that is connected to him, someone that is linked to him, someone that, somebody say one new man. One new man. Come on, follow me, I will preach. Somebody say one new man. One new Let's deal with the, sit down. Let's deal with the causes first before we get to the, the new man. A cause can be put on the nation A curse can be put on a family. The curse could be put on a community. Amen? I know a community somewhere in Mbise in Nigeria. In that community, a, the, 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 the villagers in the community captured a man that they said he was a stranger in those days captured this man that they said was a stranger and they buried him alive they dug a grave and put him alive they tied him they didn't kill him they put him in the grave alive but while he was inside the grave he opened up his mouth and said, I am being killed at the prime of my age at 40. Therefore, no man will live above 40 in this land. <laughs> you know, when people want to be smart, they say, shut up, bro. shut up, shut up, shut up. Then they covered him. From that day, the cause.
Jesus started, you know, you, a man now that killed him, that they were among those that killed him, they lived 40, 50, 60, everybody was saying, it doesn't matter. But no, the cause was waiting for new bonds. <laughs> The cause was waiting for what? Newborn babies. From that day he was buried. Every child that was born did not pass 40. As they are getting into their 40th birthday, boom, they will fall, they will be sick, something will happen. Why? Because there's a cause that has been released on a community. Hear this. A cause can be released on an object. When the what? On an object. How? Somebody can see the tool of your blessing or your shop where you are functioning and making money. He just comes. It's an object. He just comes to the shop and say, you will not prosper. If you like, you, you, you begin to see the shop going down per second, per second. Somebody can cause your car, car. I am trying to help us this morning. Well, but I'm going somewhere, I'm going somewhere. Now, this causes, I, now, a cause and a blessing both have the same method of release. Just that one is of the devil, one is of, of God. The same way that the cause, I like you, Sissy. Smile. Smile. <laughs> the same way a cause can be on a family. The blessing on a family goes to four generations. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and his sons. They began to enjoy it. Reuben, Simon, Levi, Judah, Isaac, Zebedon, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Asa, Joseph, Benjamin. They began to enjoy the blessing. They, are you following what I'm saying? Now, when God started blessing and blessing and blessing and blessing, when he got to a man called Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he said to himself, I must do something. Follow me, I'm preaching the two things. He said, I must do something and not put the blessing on an individual. Yeah? I need to change something and not put the blessing on an individual. But I can change this man's life and put the blessing, hear this? And put the blessing on his lineage. Not on him. Because if I do put it on him, the blessing can only move based on someone. Oh, I like, please, I like to teach. You need to follow me. Even though I shout, I teach this thing. The blessing cannot be on an individual. Let me move it to a lineage. Are you following me? Let me move it to a lineage. Not on sons anymore. Therefore, he says, remember, he says, I will not let you go until you bless me. Then he says, what's your what? What's your name? If he had blessed his name, it would have been continuing on name. He said, what's your name? He said, Jacob. He said, no. No. Let me not continue with an individual blessing here. Because somebody will miss it. I'm going somewhere, I'm going somewhere, I'm going somewhere. He said, from now, you are no longer Jacob. You are Israel. He said, I have broken the status quo. 
of releasing the blessings on an individual. Because I and you here, who remembers the leader? Who remembers who is number one in the life of Jacob? You can only mention Joseph. But after that, no more story about Joseph. Reuben, no more story about Reuben. Reuben, Simeon, no more story about Simeon. All of a sudden, individually, they did not have the power to transfer the blessing because the blessing has moved away from them and is now... Uh, I'm coming somewhere, I'm coming somewhere. I'm about to close, but if you get this a little bit, I will show you a scripture. Then, I, I land. Then you will see the reason that after today, you will never open your mouth and say, my ancestors. Amen. You will never open your mouth. If somebody tells you you are cursed, then you can look at him to his face and challenge him. Amen. Oh, you don't hear me. 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 Okay, let's read. Hey, God, I came to preach. Everything I'm preaching is different. Somebody open Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3. Are you there? Galatians chapter 3 from verse 13 to 14. Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3. 13. Okay, let's read one to go. Stop. Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the what? From the cause of Exodus chapter 20. Ah. Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. Being made a cause for us. For it is written in Genesis 20 or in uh, Exodus 20. Cost is everyone that hanged on the tree. Let's go. That. Come on, let's read one to go. Okay, let's go to Bible school. For Christ. Are you here? Are you, are you sleeping? If somebody's sleeping, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them. Wake up, wake up, wake up. You're missing something sweet. You're missing something sweet. You're missing something sweet. He said this. Cost. For Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the what? Law. Okay. Why? You are redeeming us from the cause of the law. How? Scripture. He said that the blessing of Abraham. You know why? Who came first? Abraham or Moses? Be confident. Who came first? Okay, come, let's demonstrate. Come here. Chief, you are new? Come, so that you can be on TV. This is Abraham. He says, Abraham, in blessing, I will bless you. Anywhere your feet steps in, I give to you. You are blessed in your going in. You are blessed in your coming out. Everything you touch is blessed. Right? Fast forward. Stay, Abraham, stay. Fast forward. Moses. Moses now writes a law. He writes a law. Your father is cursed, you are cursed. Your mother is cursed, you are cursed. Your community is cursed, you are cursed. Your generation is cursed, you are cursed. Every 
everything about you is caused. Cause this, cause that, cause this, cause that, cause that. But for you to enjoy the blessings of Abraham, for you to enjoy the blessings of Abraham, you have to pay with your blood. Walk with me. You have to pay with your blood. I'll read the scripture, then I'll come back. Abraham and Moses, it's even good you have beers like... Abraham and Moses stay, eh? Okay. Follow me. Somebody say Abraham. Abraham. Moses. Moses. Stay. stay. <laughs> okay. My dear night. Ah, something. I told you something new is about to happen here. Okay, Ephesians, chapter 2, hmm. Abraham and Moses, I'm coming, Ephesians chapter 2 from verse 15, quickly now, okay, listen to this, having abolished in his flesh, the enmity or the enmity, even the law of commandment, obtained an ordinance or a new law or a new commandment. For to make in himself a twin, one new man. Somebody say one new man. Somebody say one new man. So making peace, verse 16, verse 16. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. Okay, come look at your Jesus. Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Here I am. Send me. There is a law. The law of the cause. I don't want to dwell on the cause today. Because the blessing is greater than the cause. Yes, this Moses is shouting. Cause. Cause is your father. Cause is your mother. Cause. 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 Jesus shows up. What is the price? Say there's a cost, Jesus, but we need somebody to redeem man and restore him to the blessings of Abraham. So now they kill Jesus. Jesus is dead, right? Now he has paid the price. For the cost. The original blessing. Bro, you're finished, Moses. The original blessing that is on Abraham by the death on the cross. Somebody say I'm here. Yeah. By the death on the cross. The original blessing that was upon Abraham because he has paid the price. Now, this blessing, which is a spiritual blessing, goes into Jesus. Okay? So, Abraham, you are finished. Go back to where we read in Ephesians. The second verse. Yes. Go back. 
Where did we start? 15. Having abolished in his flesh the law of commandment contained in ordinances, thou shalt not, your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, your this. For to make himself, listen, for to make himself a twin one new man. Eesh. You know, because I know what I'm preaching already, I'm excited before time. The other side, they come. For he's, he has abolished the law. He has abolished the cause. And has made himself, he had it, twin. One. Twin. One. Twin, one new man. Therefore, he that accepts him as Lord and Savior. He that accepts him as Lord and Savior becomes twin, but one new man. Hey, I know you're missing me. I will explain it. I will explain it. Follow me, follow me. They are two, two people. But because there are two people, it is this one that has the blessing. Yes, sir. Right? It is this one that has the blessing. But now he connects to Jesus. They become two in one. Two. But not just two in one. The Bible says you become a new man. Masatayan. You become a what? New man. Hey, answer me, church. You become a what? New man. You become a new man. Why do you become a new man? Because if you are not a new man, then the cause has a reason to affect you. But once you become a new man, the old cause. The old cause has no effect. I told you there are two things that makes God angry. One, you disturb him and challenge him. The second one is when you touch the new man. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. When you touch the new man, you touch God. When everything about you changes. Everything about your life changes. Everything about your family changes. Every time your neighbors, your family, want to remember the old cause, God opens his mouth and says, this is a new man. You want to connect him. You want to connect him to your ancestors. But he is a new man. You want to praise black man. Therefore, if somebody in your village calls your name, calls your family name, and say, die by this, die by that, die by that, as the arrow is flying towards you, Jesus saying, who is touching this new man? All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. There is something different about you. You are no longer under the cause. You are no longer under the cause. You are under the blessing. Let them do what they want to do. Let them cause how they want to cause. Let them say what they want to say. You are now a new man. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Somebody say, preach, black man. Somebody shall preach, black man. You are not no other God beside me. He said, I'm the God of all flesh. I am the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Thou shalt bow down to no other God. He said, not in heaven, not on earth, not in the sea, not in the sky. Now, hear the challenge. Please go and sit down. Jesus, there's a new man here already. There's a new man. Sit down, let me preach. Let me preach. 
Somebody say, talk to me, black man. Talk to me. Oh, speak it in English. Somebody says, talk to me, black man. Talk to me. Because, because the people of the world are moved. You remember their idol is by sight. The things they see is by sight. The money they want to make is by sight. The car they want to drive is by sight. Now what happens is the Sangomas and Inyangas promise them a car, promise them a good life because of the visible things they are seeing. But the person that is one new man God does not speak to him by sight. God does not speak to him by the things he sees. But God whispers to him in his spirit. You don't hear what I'm saying? God whispers to him in his spirit. He does not have money in his pocket. But there is a signal going into his spirit. You are a millionaire. Just hang in there. You are a millionaire. The world is wondering, why is he still serving God? Why is he still going to church? You don't have a car. You don't have a house. You are not married yet. Because they are looking for what they will see. But the spirit of God. He's speaking to your spirit. They are saying you are not married because they are expecting to see husband. But the information is inside your server. <laughs> the information is inside your server. You, 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 you want to give up. You, you want to throw in the towel. You want to say there's no house. You, you want to say there's no car. You, you want to say I'm not married yet. But there is an information that your God is passing through your server. People can't see it. Your enemies can't see it. Your family members can't see it. They are saying where is your God? How long will you continue to serve this God? How long will you continue to follow this God? But they don't see what you see. They don't see what you see. The doctors look at you and tell you you will die of HIV. Once he says you will die of HIV, the Spirit of God sends a signal. You shall not die but live. I say you shall not die but live. They are wondering why you are talking the way you are talking. They are wondering why you are acting the way you are acting. But the Spirit of God is sending signal into your spirit. He's saying, don't worry. You will get married soon. Don't worry. You will build your house soon. Don't worry. Your child is coming back soon. Don't worry. It's going to be all right. Don't worry. I am busy working with you. Somebody said, talk to me, black man. They, see, see, they don't understand. They don't understand. Because they are waiting for physical things to be made manifest. They are waiting for the things that the eyes can see to be made manifest. They are telling you, kill yourself. There is no hope. Everything is over. But not with him. Yeah, he does not deal in the physical. Uh, because if he deals in the physical, he must have a shape. <laughs> he must look like a dog, an animal, a tree, or something if he speaks in the physical. But he doesn't speak in the physical. He says this, they that must worship me, must worship me where? For God is a what? Is a spirit. God is a spirit. For they that must worship me, they call you foolish. 
They are looking at you. You are giving church your money. Hey, they don't know what you are doing. You, because you had a whisper in your spirit. Hey, give and it shall be given unto you. Press down, shaking together, running over. Shall men give unto your bosom? Uh, they don't understand why you're losing your mind. They say, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mm, uh, uh, I can't explain it. Uh, uh, the Bible says, it is foolishness to them that are perishing. You, you are, I'm in America. And the doctor looks at me and says, four, in four months' time, uh, your wife will die. The Spirit of the Lord speaks to me. She will not only leave, she will have a baby and she will see. You don't hear what I'm saying? Ah... The doctors can't understand because they don't have the download in their spirit. You don't hear what I'm saying. You look in your pocket, there's no money. There's no money for rent. They're expecting you to cry. They're expecting you to go under. But there's a voice in your spirit. After a while, it shall be okay. 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 He says, thou shall have no other God. He said, those other God, they're loud. You see them. They're everywhere. That's how they operate. Somebody said, talk to me, black man. Somebody said, talk to me, black man. He said, those other gods, they have statues. My people used to sing a song. They get ear, but they know they hear. They get eyes. But they know they see, see their mouth too, but they know they talk. Man made God, who oh man made God, man made God, man, I will never worship, man made God, I will never worship, I will never worship. Never worship man-made God. Amen. Sit down, let me preach this thing. I know you're excited. Amen. Hear this now. The reason why something must happen to you is you need to change your mind. You need to change your mind. He said this. Thou shall not have any grieving image. Why? If you have an image, you are a slave to that image. Because the image becomes your God. And whatsoever your God says, you will do. But me, if I appear to you, what will I appear as? Because whatsoever I appear to you, that is how you define me. Hey. Is that true? If he appears as a monkey, you will say like the Indians, monkey god. If, I appear, if he appears like elephant, you will say elephant god. Therefore, when he wants to appear, he does not appear in the physical. Why? When God made man, Man was clay. When Satan wants to deal with you, he comes to your head and begins to whisper to your head and begins to whisper to your head. He whispers to your head and whispers to your head and whispers to your head and whispers to your head and, to your head and follow me, whispers to your head. He's waiting for you. He's waiting for you because you are God, because you are created in the image of God. And the cause and the blessing only takes place by proclamation. Did you hear that? Amen. The blessing and the cause only takes place by what? Proclamation. proclamation. What you say. You are God. So he comes here. You are not good enough. You are ugly. You are short. You are fat. You're from Zim. You're from Nigeria. He keeps saying it. He keeps saying it. He keeps saying it. Somebody says, who are you? He said, you're treating me like this because I'm from Zim. 
You have proclaimed the cause. You have proclaimed. Therefore, when God wants to deal with you, he does not deal with you here. He comes here. He comes here. You are broke. Things are crazy. Things are bad. Things are not working. He comes here and he says, you are blessed. I will do great things with you. I will make you a billionaire. I will make you a millionaire. What is he waiting for? The same process. He is waiting for you to transmit. Ish. I have given you a signal because you, you don't see any image. Let me go back to Genesis. When God made man statue, what he did, he put spirit where only he can reach. Only him can reach. You are walking on the way one day. Somebody looks at you and says, Hey, Wena, what is wrong with your life? Look at your life. <laughs> they say, Are you going crazy? He said, Baba, all is well. All is well, what? With what we are seeing, your wife does not have children after 11 years. You are saying, All is well. You don't have a job after six years, you say all is well. You are running around everywhere, you say all is well. He does not know the signal that heaven has downloaded in your spirit. Amen. It doesn't end there, it doesn't end there. See where the miracle happens. Once he downloads it, he expects you to move the message the devil comes here, you move it here. It happens. He downloads it here. He's waiting for you to move it from here to here. Am I talking to somebody? What he has downloaded in your spirit, the prophetic word he has downloaded in your spirit. So he turns around and says, let the weak say. Let the poor say. Let them say what I've been telling them. He said, What I show you in secret, declare in the open. Some of you are being dealt with here instead of here. This is where the Spirit of God, there is no image here. No image. You can't see goats. You can't see sheep. You can't see bones. You can't see Nyanga. You can't see ancestors. This is where it is. He puts the information here and is waiting for transmission. He's waiting for transmission. Somebody comes to you. How old are you? You say, I'm 36. You're not married. Marriage is not for me. Why? Because what the enemy told you here you are translating here. All we do to overcome the so-called causes and the confusion of the world, he said this, my sheep know my voice. A stranger's voice they will not follow. Therefore, when things are going crazy, people want to sack you in your office. They say we will fire you. He said, Fire who? Do you know whom you are dealing with? You, 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 you. If I bring a Sangoma here, won't you run? You will run. I, I am the Sangoma you are looking at. Me. I am the, that Iyanga you are looking for is me. Before you plan to sack me, I sack you, your father, your mother, your sister, your uncle. Am I talking to somebody here? They have made you gods. 
to download in your spirit every information of heaven is downloaded in the spirit the promises he made to you he downloads it in your spirit everything he wants to do with you he downloads in your spirit the problem is you are not proclaiming what he downloaded in your spirit you say you are God but you will die like men men you can't die like men men for your sake this morning I didn't want to do deliverance I came to bless I came to bless because you have always felt that who is doing me as long as you think that somebody is doing you you have been dude am I talking to somebody because Satan will tell you it's your auntie Satan will tell you it's your uncle. Satan will tell you it's your family that are after you. You know what he's doing? He's pulling you to the cause. And as long as you believe you are under the cause, you get it? As long as you believe that you are under the cause, you are cursed. Because you have accepted that you can be cursed. You have accepted that your family is cursed. You have affected, accepted that your sisters and your brothers and your family members are under the curse. As long as you accept that they are under a curse, naturally you have believed a curse. But if you tell yourself you are one new man. <laughs> One new man. I've never seen anybody that would tell me I'm cursing you. Impossicant. Where there is trouble is where I enter. Go and bring food from Muti, from your village. Bring it. I will eat and be satisfied. Who affect me? Who made the Muti? The people under a curse. He said, for God has delivered us from the curse. He became a curse. That through his righteousness, we can enjoy the blessings of Abraham. I know some of you here, my uncle did me, my auntie did me, my... Do you know if you put your mind on a curse, you can never be free? If you go to sleep, you shake. Why? You think they are chasing you. People don't sleep. So naturally, we go back to the curse. We go back to the curse by ourselves, by the words we speak, by the confusion of the enemy. Once something goes wrong a little bit, you say, hey, they're after me. Oh, they're after you? And the grace is not enough? You don't want to hang to the grave? You want to hang to the cross? Then cross is anyone that hangs on the tree. You missed me there again. Cost is anyone that hangs himself back on the tree. You missed me again. Because you are going back to hang yourself on the tree. Therefore, cost is who that hangs on the tree. But he has delivered us from the cost of the law. And made us to himself one new man. Amen. You are you a are new man in Jesus Christ. Yeah. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Christ Ambassador's Church, we must begin to walk.
in the newness of whom we are. We are a new creature, he said. All things have passed. But not the church. The church wants to be sentimental. The church wants to go back and give credit to, hey, you know, in 1942, there's one strong in Yanga. Eh? Okay. In the year 2000, there was one strong man. His name is Jesus the Christ. Greater is he. How do I explain this thing in English? We must walk in victory. Am I talking to somebody? We must walk in what? In victory. That is why when Satan saved me, they scream. I'm a new man. I'm a new creature. You don't hear me. It is only a fool that will tell me, look, you know, in 1972, I say, eh? What of now? When I knew you, you were broke. Eh? What of now? Let's deal with now. Forget the, am I talking to somebody? One new man. One chassis, brand new. My people call it tear rubber. You are a BMW that has not been driven. Mm. That's whom you are. This is how you gain victory in Christ. He has paid the price. Is somebody ready for me this morning? I am about to force you to be blessed. I'm about to force you to be healed. Am I talking to somebody? You, you must be blessed by force. Amen. I told you a story here the other day. Of a woman, of a woman. The son went, the daughter went to America. I told you a story. Daughter went to America. This woman became sick. Nobody was giving her money. Nobody was helping her. Nobody was taking care of her. So a lady came to her house. Mama, why are you suffering like this? He said, oh, my children forgot me. There's one in America. He forgot me. Every month he sent me one paper. Send me one paper. Send me one paper. I said, one paper? What paper? He says, yeah, it's, it's in one big box. It's full there. He said, let me see. And this woman is sick. Nobody to take her to the hospital. No money. When the doctor sent the paper, she put it in the box. Inside the box is full of papers. So the woman said, let me see the paper. The woman opened the paper, dollars. Full of dollars. He said, Mama, what is this? I don't know. My daughter went to America and is sending me a man with a head. It's just sending me one head. Every time, packs of head. What am I doing with some, this man's head? That this woman. The man said, Mama. Mama, you have this. I've had this thing for more than five, six years. Huh? Don't mind those, my children. He said, Mama. He said, Mama, what? You have all this? I said, yes. How long? And you are living in a garage with a box full of this? Dollars. Benjamin. The head of Benjamin. You know Benjamin? Oh, my goodness. As Nigerians, they know Benjamin. The head is the dollar head. The Benjamin there. This is the same thing that God has done with us. We have enough we don't use. We are so highly anointed. I will close with this. It's in my book. When I met Jesus, he showed me a vision. I will cut the vision down. And he showed me people that were suffering. People were crying. People were in pain. Jesus I said, Jesus, do something. He said, I can't. I said, you can't? He said, I can't. I said, Jesus, do something. He said, I can't. I said, why can't you? But you are Jesus. He said, no. When I was living, I gave you power. He said, I don't need it there. You need it here. I said, my God. I said, what do I do? He said, declare their freedom. 
Anywhere you declare their freedom, I will free them. Am I talking to somebody? Declare their freedom. And there are some of you that have dollars inside, but you are living like paupers. Because every time we ask you, you say, nah, eh, in my village, there's one I do. Oshimiriwan. Mama Lisi, Mama Lesa. Hey, those I do. When they follow you, Some of you in Mpumalanga, you know, inside, you say, hey, that, inside Limpompo. In Zim. Once they say there's one woman there, you start shaking. There's one woman. You are nailing Jesus back on the cross. Is somebody ready to pull down your blessing today? One new. Uh, no, no, talk to yourself. Talk to yourself. Tell yourself, I am. <laughs> All things have passed away. 